I think when you walk into the Conover Shell House, you instantly get a feeling of legacy. All the faces and all the stories and all the lives that have been touched by washer and rowing over the years. I knew that when I stepped in this place, I was joining something that was bigger than myself. And I think that's a theme that is really important to us. You know that to get what you want individually out of this team, you have to give yourself to the team. and You have to give yourself to the guys and the women in this boathouse to uh, achieve that. I think anyone who plays football or basketball or soccer knows that moment when you're really playing well together and you have that sync together. That's what rowing is too. You're just physically in the same shell. And so it, it goes from just pulling really hard to actually getting easier and lighter and it's gliding and it, it almost feels like you're kind of like flying. I think a lot of people think rowing is this really beautiful sport and it is, visually it is. And I think one thing is it's the pain and anguish is really hidden. Sometimes I think maybe people driving along I-5 or over some of these bridges are like, oh, isn't that a beautiful thing? And look how you know peaceful it is. And they don't realize the internal strife and toil and pain that's going on in those guys' minds and hearts. And um, they really are pulling their guts out. You know, in a boathouse like this, everyone has gone through um, something very, very hard together. And uh, it's something that you rely on each other and you have trust in every guy in the boat. And I think that's that's a real special moment when you uh, you have that moment of, of trust in each other and like it's really hard in a race. You've been there before with each other and you've leaned on each other. Let's go. Go. And you've competed so hard against each other that you know that you're unbreakable. Yeah.